This band's called Rose Hill Drive. They're from Boulder, Colorado, home of the University of Colorado, a school that will live in infamy as one of the top party college towns of the last century. Does the party continue? I don't know. I haven't been out that way since the early 80s, but Colorado was the first state to license recreational herbs, so I imagine Rose Hill Drive witnessed a long party. They are also given credit <clears throat> excuse me, for helping to revive traditional hard rock and redo metadelic and acid rock. Think cream. Brothers Daniel and Jake Sproul, Nathan Barnes and Jimmy Stouffer are the culprits. The band's name is their address, duh. This band has been on the bill with STP, the Black Crows, the Who, Queens of the Stone Age, and Aerosmith. So, we are not worthy. 2006 saw their debut LP on Megaforce. Rolling Stone magazine named them one of the 10 new artists to watch in 2007. When the publication still has some credibility, unfortunately, they were easy to typecast as legacy band wannabes. Second album, Moon is the New Earth, went in 2008. And it sounds like classic rock with some punk and psych congealed over the sound like a sweet leafy haze at a live at Red Rock show. Like all nice highs, Monday rolls in and it's back to the cubicle. High became hiatus. In 2010, they tried again a new album titled Americana on their own Shirley Records label. It sounds like Damn Yankees meets Hell Yeah, but not as you know good. It's not Americana, but it is American as a 10 gallon hat. I don't think a 10 gallon hat actually fits 10 gallons inside. I don't know why they call it a 10 gallon hat. I should have probably looked that up before I did this show though. Well, how about some of you Texans out there? Why do they call it a 10 gallon hat? Please leave a comment. 